widely considered as one of the most beautiful buildings in the world and visited by millions of people each year. The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum, or more simply called a tomb. An emperor at the time had the tomb built for his wife, who had sadly passed away during the pregnancy of their 14th child. On entering the mausoleum, you will see two beautifully decorated stone coffins in the centre of the room. The large coffin belongs to the emperor and the smaller one to his wife. The coffins themselves are empty and are purely symbolic. The real coffins are located underneath the building because of religious customs. The construction of the Taj Mahal and complex took around 20 years and was completed in the mid 1600s. To carry the heavy sandstone and marble from distant lands, over a thousand elephants were used, as well as many oxen. In addition to that, over 20,000 people were involved in its construction. Precious and semi-precious stones were brought from other countries and used to make the almost lifelike floral inlays on the walls as well as the calligraphy. We often find beauty in symmetry and maybe that's one of the reasons why we find the Taj Mahal so pleasing to the eye. Another is its central dome, sometimes called the Onion Dome, owing to its shape. But the Taj Mahal wouldn't have been complete without the four minarets at each corner. They centre the main building and give it a sense of space as well as having a practical use in the Islamic call to prayer. Sadly, the Taj Mahal is under attack from the environment at two main points. The amount of groundwater in the nearby river is decreasing, which in turn causes the foundation of the building to move and crack. Cracks have already started to appear in various places and the minarets are in danger of collapsing. But if they were to collapse, it's said that they've been designed to fall outwards. The second environmental threat comes from the air in the form of air pollution and acid rain, which is slowly turning the luminescent white marble a yellowy brown. Thankfully, the government now strictly controls the amount of emissions in the area. And lastly, a fun tidbit. It's been estimated that if the Taj Mahal were to be built today, it would cost almost 900 million pounds. That's a lot of money for 400 years ago. Just remember, when you visit the Taj Mahal, you're looking at one of the new seven wonders of the world and a structure built on love.